Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast. Game two of the Man of Steel Tournament. Kells? Davo. How are you doing? I'll be better if I win this game. Andy? Davo. How are you doing? I'll be better if I beat Kells a second time. <laughs> Neil? Davo. How are you doing? I'm good. Excellent. That's no, good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care who wins. <laughs> what are the standings? What are the rules? Let's light this candle. Well, every week we play trivia. And I've got a theme and six categories with four questions each. Each question is worth about 10 points. And there's a few bonus points thrown in here and there. And then there's a final question, which is worth up to 100 points. And we are in our third tournament that we are calling the Man of Steel. And one of the reasons we're calling it the Man of Steel is because each game, each of you has the opportunity to steal someone else's, someone else's answer. So if you think that uh, someone else is going to know the answer, then you can just use theirs and get whatever their score is. We know you were going to say if you think Kells knows the answer when you were given that rule explanation. It's okay. <clears throat> well, I was going to give the Godfather example again, but uh, um, I decided to not do that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Neil. This is only our second quiz in this category or in this tournament. I mean, and Andy won last time, and Dave was. I did. Dave was second, and I, I won, won last time, guys. Kels I didn't lose last. last time, so I'm happy. <laughs> Yuck it up. <laughs> so do you don't you do you want to know what today's theme is? Yes. The questions today are largely courtesy of friend of the show, Barry. Barry? Yeah. Barry. Nice. Barry is Gibb is a, a, a loyal fan of the show. Not that um, Barry. I, no, it's oh, different, different yeah. Barry. Remember Barry? We had him on the show a couple times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he was in the running for replacing our Midwestern player. <laughs> yeah, filling the Midwestern quota. Yeah. yeah. Don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, not ringing a bell. Okay. All right. <laughs> so every once in a while, our friend Barry decides to put together a quiz. And this time he put one together about the 2000s. The, the, the naughty oddies, as yeah. I've heard them called. <laughs> what the naughty no, audience yeah. nobody calls it that no nobody does you just made that up i might have but you know, naughty it, it should have stuck it really should have so i know all of you were alive during that time although some of you were obviously younger than others i'm not sure how aware kells was of of things going on <laughs> <laughs> But where you were at least there, and we can uh, we'll give it a shot. And and Andy, you will be happy to know. I don't think Barry likes my science questions any more than you do. Ah, so there is no science category. How Ooh. will we survive? You'll just have to wait till next week because I've got a good one. <laughs> Cannot wait. <laughs> I'm so stoked. <laughs> Got a good one. So today's first category is movies. Hey. All right. Question one. This documentary, which was filmed over the course of a month in 2003, showed the filmmaker Morgan Spurlock as he ate nothing but McDonald's food. Locked in. Locked in. I'm locked in. Kels? I went with supersize me. There you go. Supersize me. And Andy. Supersize me. And it was later determined that the results were faked. I remember hearing that. I do too. Mm-hmm. I'm shocked. Academically, uh, I was they tried to replicate the the uh, experiment and nobody could. I didn't realize this because I've never seen it because it doesn't really interest me that much. But apparently he had to supersize every time they asked him if he wanted to supersize yes yeah yeah Yeah. Hmm. that movie is a little trivia nugget about that movie a little trivia mick nugget 
about that. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Uh, uh, it is directly because of that movie that they're that supersizing is no longer offered on the McDonald's menu. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that. That makes sense though. Yeah, but spoilers for those that, that want to watch it. At the end of the film, he's in incredibly poor health. And others have tried to replicate that and did not have the same health issues that he did. It seems like most of the health issues he he had that supposedly was because he had been eating at McDonald's had been faked. Which is why I still stand by my surf and turf lunch of a McChicken sandwich and a Big Mac. Not McChicken, my friend. That would be a filet o fish The filet o fish yeah. No fish were harmed in the production of my filet fish Sure wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, question two. Jared Hess wrote and directed this 2004 movie with a $400,000 budget that grossed $46 million. Locked in. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I wasn't actually done with the question, but I will. I thank uh, goodness because I don't know what this I'll is. Do the rest as an easy mode since. That's not right. That's okay. totally right. It's completely fair. Don't do change a thing. No, right. The rest, uh, of, the rest of the question. I don't know if this is going to help, but the rest of the question is: In the sand dune scene, Grandma's shirt said, "My husband and I divorced for religious reasons. He thought he was God." Name this cult favorite. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm locked in. Again, this is Barry's question. You're the best, Barry. I appreciate it. You know what? I'm Davo locked in so quickly. I'm going with Davo. Okay, Davo. Grandma had a little accident at the sand dune. She broke her pockets. <laughs> it's Napoleon Dynamite. Oh. Andy, you stole Davo's answer. Kells? Uh, how much you want to bet I can throw a football over the mountains? <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, that is the correct answer. I, yeah. I almost thought about I almost thought about changing the grandma thing to something about Rex Quando. <laughs> I didn't know if that would be easier. To <laughs> I think I would have gotten it with that one. For some reason, for Sand Dunes, I was hung up on like sci-fi. <laughs> no, she was out. She was out riding a four wheeler on the Sand Dunes. Right. What the, what the flip was the Grandma doing at the Dunes? <laughs> Boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this short. Question three, because I have a feeling Davo could do. Napoleon Dynamite quotes all night long. The entire movie. It was not only one of my favorites, it was one of Ian's favorites. The entire movie. Question three. Robert Downey Jr. returned to the world of blockbuster cinema in 2008 with a starring role in Iron Man. The movie saw Tony Stark being captured while he was in a certain country selling his company's weapons. He went on to escape, but what country was he kidnapped in? Ooh. I... Huh. Huh. Hmm. I can only think of a town named in the movie. Well, just name the country the town is in and you're good to go. Thank you. I'm not sure if it's a real town. It is a real country. I think. In case you were tempted to say Wakanda, it's an actual. I'm locked in. (laughs) It's not in Wakanda. Um, I. Sure. I'm locked in. I'm going to lock in with this. Did you lock in, Andy? I locked in first. Okay. <laughs> we, I'm going to start keeping out. that in the show, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Since that happens so often, I'm keeping that in the show. <laughs> I have to kind of like Andy filter, I think. <laughs> so does my wife. <laughs> uh, Andy, what's your answer? I believe this was supposed to be kind of realistic. And if I remember correctly, it's Afghanistan. Kelsey. Hmm. I went with Afghanistan, just given the climate back then. And Devo. Three for three on Afghanistan. Three for three with the right answer. What? Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Question. you, Marv Albert. <laughs> I think that was Napoleon. 
And Mar- yeah. it, was, it, was, it could be Marvel. Yes, could be Marvel. Yes, <laughs> and it counts. <laughs> Question four: What is the name of the serial killer portrayed by Char- Charlize Theron in 2003's Monster? Uh, locked in. Oh. It's I'm locked in. I'm going to need first and last answer. First and last name. This movie is a prime Excuse example me. of the uh, Oscar theorem: If a pretty actress gets real ugly, they win an award. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. I'm locked in. Kels. Is it Aileen Warnos? I've never heard the name, but Warnos. Deva? Aileen Warnos. All right. And Andy. Exanabayu. 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 The correct answer is Aileen Warnos. Uh, Yeah, I still don't know. (laughs) All right. At the end of round one, Andy has 30. Deva and Kells are tied with 40. 40 piece. So you guys had a perfect round there. Sure nice. Heck yes. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a union round. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling a lot of these questions are going to be like right in Davo's wheelhouse. It's, it's flipping sweet. <laughs> oh, what fun. <laughs> That's going to stick around all night, isn't it? Heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stand you right now. Yeah, I, I'm really not liking you. <laughs> Maybe if we just don't comment on it every time he does it, he'll stop. You know, I've known him for a long time. That doesn't work. In fact, it emboldens him. I'm like water on <laughs> rock. I will wear you down. <laughs> All right, category two is hodgepodge. It's just kind of a mishmash of questions. And I believe that this is going to be our very first audio question ever. So I'm going to play an audio clue. I've edited it slightly just for brevity. I took a little bit out of the middle. Um, Okay. But you just need to tell me who it is that's speaking. If you had told us one year ago that we were going to come in third in Iowa, we would have given anything for that. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So just tell me who that is for 10 points. Locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm locked in. Devo? Uh, Howard Dean. Andy? Howard Dean. And Kels? Howard Dean. Quick answer is Howard Dean, who went on to become the head of the uh, the chairman or whatever of the National Democratic Party. The DNC. The DNC, yeah. yep. Democratic National Party. Or Committee. Yeah, whatever DNC stands for. Can I, get, is, can I get two bonus points for that, please? No. Nope. Oh, come on. Stop asking for handouts. You're doing oh, fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're embarrassing us. <laughs> Heck yes. Uh, question two. Stop it. In 2001, what country became the first to legalize same-sex marriages? Hmm. Oh, my God. It wasn't Alabama. I'll give you a hint. This is a European country. Yeah. yeah. Um, locked in. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to lock in with this. I'm locked in. Locked in. Uh, Andy? I think it's Sweden. Kels? I also went with Sweden. Devo? I went with Sweden as well. All right. Well, the correct answer is the Netherlands. Oh, oh. Ooh, that was my number two. Uh, rats. To all of our listeners in the Netherlands, you're not really number two in our hearts. You're number two in Kels' brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question three. Name the pilot who successfully landed a commercial airliner on the Hudson River in 2009. Oh. Again, keep in mind that this is this is a various question. He says, must have the first and last name. Oh, man. Locked in. You. Uh, Kels, I know what you're thinking. It's not Tom Hanks. Oh, um, the guy unlocked? Yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crud. I'm locked in with fiddlesticks. I'm locked in. Kels? Say Captain Sully Sullenberger. David. Sullenberger. Sorry. David? I said Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Good right. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember that at all. And you Andy. can't get a pilot's license if you're named Jimbo. <laughs> Chelsea Sullenberger. You are close enough, Andy, since somebody else got it. What? Is Chesley Sullenberger, not Chelsea. Oh, wow. So, Kels, you were right. It, he, his nickname was Sully. but Yeah, I, I wasn't going to get that first name. So just points for Andy for that one. Which, by the way, brings us to a three-way tie again. Ooh. Uh, or a menage four. a trois tie. No? Um, okay. I was looking as a French, and that was horrible. Sorry. <laughs> you know how I am. Question four. Nine of the top ten U.S. bankruptcies occurred in the 2000s, meaning the, uh, the bankruptcies involving the most money. Mm-hmm. or the most, mm-hmm. most assets. The largest was the fourth largest investment bank in the U S with assets of about $670 million. It was founded in 1850 by three Jewish brothers. What is the name of that company? Uh, um, and this is um, one of those that when you Say it. I'm gonna know what it is, and be mad. Me too. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna lock in with what I got, man. And I know the brother thing is a hint, and I. Yep. It de hinted in my face. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't mean to do that. Wow. Yeah. 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 Drink and blink Trace Hermanos Investment Bank. I, I, I would take <laughs> that. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, Devo. I said Bear Stearns. Andy? Harpo, Zeppo, and Devo. Stearns. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kels? I said the Lehman Brothers. Oh, shoot. Ooh, okay. That's what it is. Yep, there it is. Correct answer is the Lehman Brothers. Arg. It's the only brothers I can think of. All right. At the end of round, the end of round two, Devo and Andy have 50, and Kells has 60. Man. Good job, Kells. So the let's move on to category three, which is music. Musica. Ooh. So... Do you know what? Do you guys know what Last FM is? Yes, Last FM. It's kind of a a music tracking site. They you you can send your music to to it, and it'll keep track of what you listen to. So it, it, it's a music recommendation site. Mm-hmm. Okay. So having said that, question one: In 2010, Last FM said that the song "Mr. Brightside" was the most listened to track since the site's launch. What multi platinum band released "Mr. Brightside" as their first single? Locked in. Locked in. For a double bonus, give me the name of the album and what state the band is from. Ooh, give me, I'm unlocking for a second. I know the album, but the state? Those those are independent bonus questions, by the way. Okay. I think I know the album and I've got the state. I'm locked back in. Relocked. Hmm. I only know the band. I'm not, I'm locked in. Okay. Okay, Andy. The band is the Killers. I believe the album is also called Mr. Brightside, and I believe they're from Nevada. Okay. Kels. The Killers. Okay. And Davo. Uh, the Killers. I thought the album was self-titled, and they are from Nevada. Well, you all got the Killers. That is correct. They are the largest uh, rock group that's ever come out of the state of Nevada. Yes. And the album was named Hot Fuss. Oh, oh right. 
You know, I swear to God, I came up with Nevada because I've been thinking about every picture I've seen of them. And there's always a bit of a cowboy motif, and they tend to be like in a desert setting. They have a Las Vegas feel to them. So that's why I went with Nevada. That's the only way I came up with it. I might have gone a different direction because for some reason, I'm pretty sure that Brandon Flowers, the lead singer, is Mormon. So I might have gone with Utah. Oh, yeah. if oh I, didn't I didn't know he was Mormon. Wow. Yeah. I, th- I think he, I think I read that once or yeah. somewhere like years ago. Hmm. That's one of those things that just sticks in my head. And... From a Rolling Stone magazine in a Chinese restaurant in Pensacola. Right. <laughs> in the uh, well, I, haven't been in Pensacola, I haven't been in Pensacola since the seventies probably. So I don't think that. Was I anything. literally just said Pensacola randomly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my grandmother used to live in Pensacola. <laughs> All right. Question two. Which singers did Madonna kiss on stage at the 2003 MTV Video Music Awards? Singers plural. There oh, are two of them. I'm locked in. You get five points per Five singer. points each, yeah. Um, I think uh, I'm going to... One, I'm for sure, and the other one, I'm going to make a very educated guess. Very educated. La di da. (laughs) (laughs) This is a PhD level guess. You got it, you're throwing it. Yeah, I'm I'm locked locked in. I'm I'm the same. I know one for sure, and the other one, I'm I'm fairly sure. I can tell you why you know one for sure and not the other one when we're done. Okay. Okay, Kells, what's your answer? I said Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. David? Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. And Andy. I'm feeling better about this. I'm sure it's Britney Spears, but Christina Aguilera was the one I was unsure of. You are all correct. It was a they were doing a trio. Uh, what do you call it when three singers are singing? It's not a duet. Menage a trio? No, it's not. Okay. No. Well it's a, no. It's no. <laughs> So anyway, Madonna was in the middle and she kissed Britney Spears f- uh, first. And then the camera during the broadcast cut away to Justin Timberlake, who was, I guess, a recent ex of Britney. And so they were like getting his reaction to this when he was seemed pretty stone faced. And then by the, cut, by the time they cut back to the singers, the kiss with Christina Aguilera had already happened. So most people didn't see that. Um, well, we imagined it. So. Right. <laughs> there are photographs if you if you care to look. Could you up. send me a link? Yeah. <laughs> no, because that's oh, creepy. No. Sorry. Is it? Yeah. Uh, yes. I mean, yeah, the way he asked it is a little creepy. So <laughs> I'm just going to move away and, and hope that maybe we edit that part out. But. All right. Question three. Which musical artist sold the most records in the 2000s? Oh, Ooh. oh my gosh. Who sold the most in the naughty oddies? Stop. Yeah. You got to stop calling. We're just, yeah. I can't I'm trying to make it happen. I'm trying to make it happen. trying to make it happen. We're done. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm locked in. Oh, my God. Yeah, mine as well. I'm locked in, too. All right. Devo. I, I said Britney Spears. Okay. Andy? Devo, if you had one shot or one opportunity. Oh, come on. He sees everything you wanted. I, I got mom's spaghetti. In one moment. Would you capture it? No. I just let it slip. I just let it slip. It's All right, Kels. What's your answer? Uh, I guessed Marshall Bruce Mathers, a.k.a. Yes. Eminem. The correct answer is Eminem. Oh. oh. Yo. No. <laughs> uh, no. Nah. That's what we're not going to do. Question four. Let's do a little country music oh, here. For come a on. Oh, really? Hey, talk to Barry, not me. <laughs> what country singer was named Entertainer of the Year by Country Music Association in 2004, 2006, 2007, and 2008? 
That's a highly entertaining, entertaining country singer. <laughs> he really is entertaining. Yeah, four four out of five years he won the CMA's oh, Entertainer of the Year. All right, I'm locked in. Um, yeah, I'm locked in. Sure. I'm locked in. Kels? I guess Kenny Chesney. Ooh. I said Tim McGraw. Ooh. Andy. I said Keith Urban. Ooh. Ooh. I can tell you one of you got oh. it right. Oh. And that one is Kels. Oh. Oh. The oh. correct answer is Kenny Chesney. <laughs> Kels, if you had one shot or one opportunity. And, oh. At the end of round three, Davo has 72, <laughs> Andy 82, and Kels has 100. Mm. Nice, Kels. Thank you. Which brings us to category four, television. Oh, I was still kind of watching TV. Question one, American Idol first aired back in 2002 with this with its first season's full title being American Idol, The Search for a Superstar. Ooh. Do you remember which contestant was the winner of the first season of American Idol? I think I do. Uh, Locked in. That. Be the this is the question. That is the question, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm locked, locked in. in. Kels? Kelly Clarkson. David. Kelly Clarkson and Andy. You know what? I don't know. My answer's in protest for last week's episode where we did not mention the Caribbean episode, Billy Ocean and his song <laughs> Caribbean Queen. So that's what I'm going with here in protest. <laughs> Caribbean Queen. So your answer is Billy Ocean? Yes. Caribbean Queen. The correct answer is Kelly Clarkson. I still, st I still stand by my protest. You gotta pick your spots, man. <laughs> like, man. Really, I didn't think about that until it's you been just bugging said me all it, week. But... How did we have an entire episode on that subject? And Billy Ocean doesn't come up once. To our Billy Ocean fans, I apologize. I thought it was a little obvious. <laughs> it would have been on the no. <laughs> All right, question two. Don't Stop Believin' was playing on the jukebox during the last scene of the final episode of what TV series that aired on June 20th, 2007? Oh. I'm locked in. Uh, <laughs> I'm locked in. <laughs> oh, locked in. Deva? The Sopranos. Kels? The Sopranos. Andy. Yep, Sopranos took me a minute. Correct answer is The Sopranos, which I just watched um, late last year, I think. Did you like really? it? Really, for the first time? Yeah. No, I never watched it when it was out, and it was uh, – was it on – HBO. Netflix? HBO, yeah. H HBO. Well, no, I know, but – Oh, it was on – They had. I think they had it on Hulu. Yeah. Well, I don't have Hulu. But I anyway, yeah, I watched, watching those. I watched the final. I, yeah, I, re I really enjoyed it. I mean, I kind of like gangster stuff, like mob, like mobster, mafia mob. type stuff. Yeah. I'm the only one in the room. <laughs> I, I, I never, like, I have, like, a box set. I never skip, like, the intro. Yeah, I never woke up this morning. <laughs> that is a great song, actually. I have that on my, uh, my phone, you know, my my um most listened to songs Love so that. when you're when you're driving to to school yeah. every morning you got that giant stogie and you're lincoln rocking that out <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually a toyota hybrid um i was trying to help you out man yeah it's i'm pretty sure soprano was in an escalade too wasn't he i was trying to help andy right <laughs> <laughs> anyway Incredible. Question three. Kelly Monaco won the first of this talent competitions, which aired back in 2005 oh. and featured only six contestants in what was clearly a trial run for the show. Name the show, which continues to thrive in the ratings. Huh. Locked in with a total guess. I'm locked in. This has been on for a while, so yeah, let's go with this. 
I'm locked in. All right. Let's start with Andy. I'm guessing America's Got Talent. Deva? I think it's Dancing with the Stars. Kels? I also went with Dancing with the Stars. Correct answer is Dancing with the Stars. Right. Question four. What, who starred in the 2005 drama series Commander-in-Chief and played the role of the President of the United States of America? I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Now you got Caribbean Queen stuck in my head. It's man. awesome, Damn. isn't it? I was about to start saying <laughs> it, but I was not going to give you that. I'm locked in. I mean, to be, to, be, to be fair, it could be worse. It could be get out of my dreams, get into my car. <laughs> if I had to pick between the two, yeah, you're right. I go Caribbean Queen. I still use two. that line. <laughs> get out of my <laughs> dreams, get into my hybrid. That's Devo. <laughs> we went out for Chinese the other night. How did you get into my car? That's exactly what I asked of you. Yep. That's true. It's true. Wow. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to know you folks. <laughs> <laughs> Just think how embarrassing it is for us. I'm embarrassed <laughs> to be me. I can only imagine. <laughs> hey, Kells, what's your answer to this question? <sighs> I say Kelsey Grammer. Candy? Gina Davis. Devo. Timothy Oliphant. Who? <laughs> 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 Oh, I didn't know. I think Andy's right. I didn't know that. I think Andy's right too. Yeah, you should have stolen his answer. He seemed pretty confident from the very beginning. Yeah. yeah. I he said, I know I'm a is. sucker for these kind of shows. He he lulled me to sleep with yeah. Caribbean Queen, so I didn't even hear that him. That song does not lull you to liking. sleep. It lulls you onto the dance floor. I'm not dancing, Andy. I'm not dancing. Anyway, the correct answer is Gina Davis. And that brings us to the Timothy Oliphant was Sheriff Seth Bullock. Oh, so you put some respect on his name. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of round four. Uh, Andy and Devo are still tied at 102, and Kells has 130. So let's move on to sports. Uh-oh. Okay. And again... Okay. Again, I, I tweak these a little bit, so don't blame me. These are I don't think uh, I don't think uh, Barry knows your sports preferences as well as I do. Oh, no. no. <laughs> but I don't I don't think these are going to be not... difficult for you guys. I, I would have I would have got oh. I would have gone zero for zero on these probably, but for zero for four. Question one: In the decade of the two thousands, two NBA teams won three titles each. Name them both. Five points each. Decade of the 2000s. Uh, let me make sure I get this right. Let me make sure I'm giving a pretty solid guess. Yeah, I'm locked in. I'm locked in too. I can name, I can name all the teams that won this decade. Name those teams. Oh, well, let's wait until. No, no, yeah, I'm still um, <laughs> hashing it out. I'm locked in. All right, Deva. I'm comfortable with my answer, but Kells is more comfortable, so I'm going to steal right. Kells. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> Kells. You're ahead, man. I want to get some points. Kells, what's your answer? Well, um, may I ask Davo what his answers were going to be? Yes. What were they going to be? The Spurs and the Lakers. Well, you wasted a steal, my friend. It is no, the, man. It's the Lakers and the Spurs. That's all right. That's all right. Andy? I have the Lakers and the Bulls. Correct answer is the Lakers and the Spurs. Uh, do I get half? Yeah, I'll give you five. Thank points. you. Oh, <laughs> I got her. Question two: On the eighth of June in two thousand two, 
One of the biggest boxing matches of all time took place at the Pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee. Who did Mike Tyson get knocked out by in the eighth round in that fight? Locked in. It wasn't that guy. It wasn't that guy. I'm going to say I'm a... I'm locked in. Um, yeah, I'm going to lock in, too. Kels? I'm going to guess Lennox Lewis. Yes. Andy? Lennox Lewis. Deva. I also said Lennox Lewis. Well, you were all correct. It was Lennox Lewis. Yay. So there's a reason why it was in Memphis instead of New York City, then it, or New York when it was supposed to be. Do you know what that reason was? Ear biting. No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's your answer for everything it's because mike tyson is a freaking lunatic and attacked uh lennox lewis during the weigh-in i think oh yeah okay so, is this when he eat his heart out huh well i'm gonna eat your children I, yeah, yeah. I, it was it was it was a mess <laughs> i don't i didn't catch everything he said but so so new york uh, revoked his license and uh memphis Ooh. was the only place that would that would have the fight after that. I didn't know that. All right. Question three. In the decade of the 2000s, the Yankees won two series. What other team won two World Series, both in four game sweeps? Oh, locked in. Uh, locked in. Locked in. All right. Andy? The Atlanta Braves. They vote. Uh, Boston Red Sox. Kels. In 2004 and in 2008, Terry Francona did not lose a Damn. World Series game. The Boston Red Sox. The answer Damn. is the Boston Red Sox. So the Cardinals and the Rays, right? Cardinals and the Rockies. Rockies, Rockies. Crushed did they beat, the Rockies. Did they beat the Rays in the World Series? They couldn't. They're in the same division. Oh, yeah, they're just usually irrelevant. The Ooh. Phillies beat the Rays. Phillies beat the Rays. Thank you. The next year. Yeah. <laughs> the Braves. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Lost my mind there. That was the 90s, though, right? The only one were in World Series, man. They, they went to, what, four? Four. Okay. Question four. New England won three Super Bowls during the decade. What team won? No what more. team won only two Super Bowls? I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Deva. I said the Steelers. Kels. Pittsburgh Steelers. Andy. Yep, I got you, my brother. It's the Steelers. Shout out to my little brother. <laughs> Correct answer is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I almost went with the Giants. I was thinking they, the Giants too. It was 07 and 10, I think, though. Or 11, 10 or 11. It was outside, but yeah. All right. At the end of round five, Andy has 127, Deva 142, and Kells 170. I kind of feel like Kells, Ooh, I'm losing. Kells was really determined to to not lose this one. Well, I think Kells is an expert on the naughty oddies. Oh, really? Even... Again? You're about to get a one-game suspension. Wow. That's, yeah. that's one thing. Yeah. Wow. That's one thing. We're going to take, take this to the commissioner's office. Oh, my gosh. We're looking at tape. We're looking at tape. <laughs> Question one. Oh, our category, our final category is current events, which is kind of history now, but. It's not kind of, it is. Kind of depends on how you look at it. No, it's it's history. It was current at the time. Yeah, five minutes ago was history. Man, that's deep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the winning streak is history. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Question one. What American ship was bombed while docking at the Yemeni port of Aden in 2000 with the attack attributed to Osama bin Laden? 
I don't know what was the name of that boat. Ship. Vessel. <laughs> All right. Locked in. I'm locked, I'm locked in as well. I'm locked in. Andy? The USS Cole. David? The USS Cole. Kells. I want to steal Andy's answer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 17 sailors were killed in this terrorist attack against the USS Cole. I noticed you didn't steal my answer and, uh, there, Kels, and it was the same. Yeah, I mean, what, was I going to steal both? That's greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Question two. Mexico is believed to have been the epicenter of a 2009 outbreak of a flu virus, also known as the swine flu. Um, about 22 million Americans contracted it and 3,900 people died. What letters and numbers were associated with this flu? I am locked in. I am locked in as well. What am I missing? <laughs> the How is it you guys came up with that? Oh, oh, I see what you, oh, yeah, I got it. I'm locked in. David. Uh, H1N1. Kels. H1N1. H1N1. Correct answer is H1N1. You know, the uh, less mature of us, I'm not going to say it's me, <laughs> but uh, some people called it the Heine virus. Oh, yeah, that's you. Yeah, yeah that's okay. definitely so on you. I've oh, never heard on. that before in my life. Ever? That is oh, so totally so on you. Own brand might be a Colorado <laughs> thing. Might be okay. So for this question, I'm going to give you just a list of things that happened in a particular year, uh-huh. and you tell me what year it was. Um, um, I'll give you I'll give you half points if you're within a year, but if you're any further than that, then no no points at all. Okay. Okay. So, what year saw Hurricane Katrina? Uh, Million Dollar Baby won the Oscar for Best Picture. Iraq held its first uh, free elections in over 50 years. The charts were topped by uh, We Belong Together by Mariah Carey and Holla Bat Girl by Gwen Stefani, if you can imagine. Uh, and the following celebrity. I ain't no Holla Bat Girl. Uh, the following uh, people died Rosa Parks, Johnny Carson, John Paul II. Eugene McCarthy, Hunter S. Thompson, and Richard Pryor. Man, I'm locked in. Yeah, I'm locked in. It's because of the million dollar baby thing, isn't it, Kells? <laughs> no, Katrina thing. I was going to say, I locked in with Katrina. I, I almost stopped there. But... <laughs> oh, man. I'm okay. locked in. I feel terrible. I'm not going to get this right. I'm locked in. Kells, be surprised. I said 2005. Andy? 2005. And Devo. I said 2007. Oh, Devo. I know. No points, Devo. Uh, uh, but full points to Kels and Andy. It was 2005. And question four. What space shuttle disintegrated on its reentry into Earth's at- atmosphere on February 1st, 2003, killing all seven crew members? Locked in. Uh, I think it was this one. I'm locked in. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm locked in. I have an answer. Okay. Andy? Space Shuttle Columbia. Devo. I wrote down Challenger. What's the other one? Yeah, I got it. said Endeavor. I forgot about the Columbia. Well, you should not forget about the Columbia. In this case, it is the correct answer. Uh, broke the streak all right at the end of round six our scores are thus Devo has 162 andy has 167 kells has an even 200 200 all right so our final category tonight is movie related Oh, Kells is already winning. Change categories quick. Real quick. Yeah. No no science, please. 
<laughs> You're making the baby cry. <laughs> I have a list in front of me that includes the top 10 movies that were released in the 2000s ordered by their worldwide gross to date. So I just need you to name any or name these 10 for 10 points each. Oh, uh, wait just one second, Bobble. Yes, it's your friendly podcasting fanatic. Here to shout out my trivia brothers from another mother, the Trivia Rogues. When you get a chance, pop on over to the Trivia Rogues and let Billy and the gang educate you on some things, Bubba. Funk on. And do remember to please look both ways before you cross my mind, baby. So, Davo, what are your answers? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, the Dark Knight, Iron Man, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Curse of the Black Pearl, Curse of the Black Pearl, the first one. Um, I've floundered here. Spider Man Two. Oh man. I forgot all about Spider-Man. That's one of the ones I crossed off. Uh, Transformers. Hoping it made the cut. Uh, Twilight. Um, did you? Who chuckled? <laughs> Me. How dare you? As I'm just hoping that <laughs> Empire Jones uh, for the all for return. That is good and holy. It's not Twilight, please. Return of the King, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Mm. Uh, Batman Begins. Oh, six. And oh, wow. Fast and the Furious. All right. That mm-hmm. seems like a solid list. It does. Andy? Well done, David. Now I hate my list. <laughs> <laughs> that was a swing. I was really proud of it. Uh, the Dark Knight. Gladiator. The Hurt Locker. Mm. Uh, the Incredibles. Oh. And this is the one I almost forgot. Uh, Avatar. <laughs> there yeah. you I so forgot. I hate <laughs> Avatar so much. <laughs> it made a lot, it of, made a lot so of money. money. Uh, <laughs> Lord, of the Retur- Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Kill Bill. Which one? Bang, bang. The first one. All right. Uh, there will be blood. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh no! What? <laughs> oh my god! A limit. No. You that that ain't That's not a billion dollar. Uh, Wall-E. <laughs> oh man! And Monsters Inc. No. Nah. Andy, that is a very nice. thoughtful list. Kels. If I said it was a pizza cook, you would agree. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Uh, so I have Avatar, The Dark Knight, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Oh. Okay. Transformers. Yeah. Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. No. Pirates of the Caribbean: Dead Man's Chest. Because usually, when you have a surprise hit movie, the sequel tends to do hmm. better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, sleeper hit Passion of the Christ. Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And I uh, sprinkled in a little Shrek 2 just to be safe. All right. Let me tally up the scores here and I'll get back with you. See, the thing is, I didn't know my Harry Potter subtitles. Yeah, so I, I would have put the first <laughs> I should have had Harry Potter in there too. All right, I have your scores tallied. I'll go over the top 10 here and uh, keep track of your own scores just in case mm-hmm. I miss some. Number 10, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Mm. Oh, cool. None of you got number nine, Finding Nemo. Oh. oh. Now, I oh, should say nice. some of these, like uh, I think 
Spider-Man 2 and the one or two of the Transformer movies. They were in the top 10 list when I was just looking at domestic gross. But when I changed it to worldwide gross, the list changed. Um, so, uh, okay. Some of you are pretty, pretty close if I'd stuck with domestic. All right. Uh, number eight, uh, Kel's got Shrek 2. Oh, I would not have guessed awesome. that. Number seven, Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Yes, man. I crossed that one out. I loved my list. Still don't have one. Number six was Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. None of you got that one. Oh. Number five, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Come on. I should stick with porn. Number four, Dark Knight. You all got Dark Knight. Yay. Number three, Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead Man's Chess. Dead Man's Chess, yes. Number two, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Yay. Give me one. Just give me one so I can beat Andy. Well, I mean, you know what, you know what number one is. <laughs> you do know what number one is. You've been beat by Avatar. Number one is obviously yeah. Avatar. So by my count, Devo got two for 20 points. Bringing you to 182, and currently you're in the second place. <laughs> <laughs> Andy got three for 30 points, bringing you to 197. And by my count, Kel's got six, bringing his total to 260 points. Uh, I'm sorry, Neil. Could you clarify who came in third? Uh, it was Devo. Because of Avatar? <laughs> oh, that's going to pain. It wasn't because of Avatar. No, he would have lost. He, he needed. He needed to. I needed to. to you. Yeah. Well, the naughty knots weren't good to him. <laughs> no, the naughty oddies were not good to me. So, Kells, congratulations, getting back on a on a on the right path. Thank you, sir. Well done, Kells. Uh, Andy, uh, you go die in fire. <laughs> 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 Neil, uh, thanks for reading those great questions from our man, Barry. Thanks, Barry. Very good job. Thanks, Barry. We appreciate you. And, and anybody else out there who would like to submit a quiz or a topic or anything like that, reach out to us on our social media and our website and such, and we would love to have topic ideas. Or if you want to put together a whole quiz, Neil would appreciate it, and we would too. So from all of us here, at the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast. This is Devo with uh, Andy. She dashed me by and painted on jeans, and all heads turned because she was the dream. So long, everybody. Caribbean <laughs> queen. Kells. I'll never get the opportunity to say this on the show, so I'll say it right now. Um, cash money taking over for the 99 and the 2000. <laughs> Well said. I, and I don't even know what that means. <laughs> uh, so here's a quote from the best movie of the 2000s, which didn't come up at all in today's quiz. You go, Glenn Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Signing off. Uh, greetings and salutations to all you good trivia people out there. I know what you're thinking. Hey, I really enjoyed this show. Uh, how can I get a little more? Well, here to help you out. You can look up these good people on Twitter at Little Brain. Or if Facebook's more your deal, you can look them up at Brain Little Productions. Hey, they've even got their own webpage. It's uh, BrainLittleTrivia.com. Uh, now, if you're feeling generous, you can join a Patreon. Where if you donate $10 or more, you can even get yourself a fancy show invite. How about that? Until we meet again, this has been 44, and I'm glad you joined us. Hope I'm out. The preceding podcast was presented by Brain Ladle Productions, all rights reserved.